What's up everybody, Navitz here, and today I have a gameplay video, but it's not my gameplay. We are going to watch Merlini play Alchemist. Now, Merlini is M-Dog, and I know about this game for one reason, because I tuned in around the 19 minute mark, and let me spoil a little something for you. Merlini gets farmed, like farmed out of this world, so we're going to watch how farmed he gets. Alright, starts the game off with a bounty ruin. Their team gets first blood. Who got the first blood? Keeper of the Light? Oh my god, they're just getting kills after kills. He's already got 400 gold. Got the bounty ruin. Is he going to be mid? I don't know. I didn't watch the beginning of this game. I watched the end of it, and it gets ridiculous. And he's going to get another bounty ruin. So starting the game off with double bounties. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is going to be crazy. So we're going to watch Merlini start off with double bounties, head top, and start farming. So instantly, at the 30 second mark, he has 740 gold. And he has just decided to go Midas. You see, he's queued up his Midas. So we're going to watch this from his gameplay perspective because that's the way I like to watch games. I feel like you learn best that way. And you can see exactly how quick they are at playing the game. You can watch their map awareness. You can see what they're thinking about. When you're just looking at the map yourself, you don't really know what their mindset is. So we'll watch and see what Merlini does. So the game has just started. This is the first creep wave. And he currently has approximately 900 gold. Not bad. Not bad if you're an alchemist. And when I say not bad, I mean like that is fantastic. So uh, he's probably just, he's getting some free farm in this lane. This is a regular pub match. This is Merlini playing with his, I think this is his caster crew if I'm not wrong. Um, but I'm not sure. Now I'm currently streaming at the same time that I play. So if you guys see these emoticons dropping on the screen, that's uh, that's from stream. If that, if that starts getting too, uh, too much, I'll, I'll turn those off. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, all right, so he, he looks like he's going to go for a Midas first. He's probably going to get the the Bounty Ruin at two minutes as well. Uh, he's got almost a free lane to farm with that Pudge taking over here. So we might switch to free, uh, free, sorry, free camera for a little bit. We're just going to watch and see exactly how well he does. He hasn't missed a last hit that he possibly could have yet. Fatty's still dropping. <laughs> Fatty is still dropping emotes on screen. I'm going to turn those off just for a minute. All right, that's enough of the emotes for now. Thank you, guys. <laughs> um, by the way, since, uh, since I'm plugging it right now, you guys should know that I do stream. My stream is twitch.tv slash navit. So if you're looking to watch an awesome, pretty much the best Dota 2 streamer in A, like you're, you're, this is the place to go right here. And if you're wondering why I'm wearing a hoodie, it's because it's fucking freezing in my house. My brother and I have a competition going on right now to see who can go the longest before we turn on the furnace. Um, I'm getting close to caving, but don't tell him. So let's see, he is up to, he's already got the recipe for the Midas. So he's got 1500 gold at two minutes, 30 seconds. Didn't go for the ruin because it probably wouldn't be worth it compared to the gold that he gets from lane. Preps his creep, gets the last hit. Oh, he's gonna prep that creep as well. Yep. Oh no, he didn't get the last hit. So, not sure why. Get it, okay. So he's only missed one creep kill so far. Uh, he's, he's doing a fantastic job. So he's going to have a Midas by approximately 3 minutes, which is pretty redonk. Or like 3 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, let's take a look at the rest of this game while this part is a little bit boring. We'll see what Marana's doing. Marana's got standard offlane going. She's probably arrowing this camp, or one of the camps. Pudge pulling, doing his thing. Is he stacking the jungle for him? Yes. So he's got a nice stack in the jungle. Wow. He's got a huge stack going for him, in the, for him, two huge stacks for him in the jungle. I didn't even see how these were made. I'm going to have to go back and watch that on my own. Or maybe I'll do it at the end of this game, just do a quick recap, and we'll see how how this uh, this keeper stacked that jungle so quickly. Maybe there's a way to do it with Illuminate that I don't know about, and I'm sure there is, actually. Uh, and let's take a look at the offlane. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Morphling. Morphling, your life is valuable. Are you going to die? Is he going to die? No, he's going to get away. Morphling survives. A morphling lives forever, everybody. Okay, so now, now he's fat. He's got a Midas, guys. He's got a, a three minute, three, four minute Midas on an alchemist. Next, he's probably gonna get the. Next, he's probably gonna get the armlet. Sorry, I was just seeing if uh, what was gonna happen there. The, I don't know why I was so intrigued by that one creep last hit. Oh well. And Marana's still doing her thing, so let's go back to our Alchemist view and let's watch him start to take over. Because um, a four minute Midas Alchemist, that sounds pretty good, man. Seems good. So I don't usually play Alchemist in the safe lane. I usually see Alchemist in um, 
Alchemist going down mid. So safely an Alchemist is kind of nice here. Uh, especially because it's not really contested. They don't have a dual offlane or anything like that. They're making sure that their Slark gets some pretty good farm over here. So their Slark is actually... He's doing well. He's doing well. He's got his poor man's shield, his Basilisk, bots. He's doing all right. He's trying to pull that camp. Forgot that it wasn't there. Alchemist level 6 at the moment. Slark is level 4. So Alchemist definitely has the advantage. Especially considering the amount of gold he's already got. We should take a look at the net worth real quick. Alchemist clearly leading the net worth chart. And now he's going to hop over into the jungle. I wonder if he's going to buy a Iron Talon or not. I'm not sure. I think Iron Talon might be worth it, but maybe not considering how big those camps are that he's got stacked up. He might just want... Oh, and he got the Soul Ring as well. Alright. I thought he was maybe going to skip the Soul Ring. I don't know how he's going to afford all of this, because at the point that I tuned into the game, with the amount of farm that this guy has, like, how did he do it? He's, he's also... He doesn't have to go... Because his lane's so safe, he can go with uh, level 3 Grid Evil's Gold instead of going with level 3 acid spray so he's probably gonna max out great evil's gold with his next level yeah he did so he's got additional gold for sure oh they're coming to gank him they're coming to gank him keep her light here to give him mana and keep him safe what are you gonna do keep her light or sorry kunkka's trying to get that x off on him shadow demon wants to disrupt him marana wants to arrow him everybody wants a piece of this alchemist but he's not giving it up he's not giving it up that easy maybe he's just gonna get a kill here okay he got the x off doesn't mean that much drop the acid spray didn't misses the torrent he's getting disrupted oh is that a little silly bear up there too yeah there's a silly bear there's a four player gank on this alchemist at the moment and he is just taking it in stride walking around dodging you know what flipping his you know who something but he's so cute though <laughs> all right and here he goes he's just just doing his thing his team came helped him out he did a really good job avoiding death there um they should have they probably didn't expect him to have level 6 as soon as he did. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not. I might be lying. Maybe they did. But we'll see. So he's just going to push it in. We're going to see how Merlini does with this game right now. Let's watch him progress. So his net worth right now is at 5k. He's almost double 5.5k now. So he is past... He's, he's more than doubled the, the hard carry of the other team. And he's got a nice little stack right here. Look at this beautiful stack. Oh, did Alchemist get that goal? No, most of that went to uh, Keeper of the Light. Keeper must be feeling bad about that. A little bit bad. All right, so these stacks, these are going to be nice to take. Look how big this stack is. What the... F oh, and here comes Rot. These guys are just going to help him steal. Oh, my God. Let's watch how fat he gets. What's gonna happen here? I wish I, I gotta learn how. I, I need to. I need to team up with with an alchemist who knows how to do this, and I'll be the support. I'm gonna rewatch this game from the support's point of view afterwards, and we'll probably add it as like a little clip just to show how he stacks these camps for his alchemist. Cause I can't stack them like this. Look at these stacks. He's so fat. All right, so he's got himself his armlet now, right? It's on his way, and that's an eight-minute armlet and a Midas and a, a soul ring, and plus he's about to take that next stack right there. And now he's got his ulti again. He's just going to ultimate in here. He's going to armlet this. He's going to take out this whole camp. How much gold is he going to get? What's he going to have after this? His net worth right now is at 7k. It's 7.5k. It's just... It's exponentially increasing as we watch. Come on, man. It's not fair. It's not fair. You're not allowed to do this. Oh, boy. Alright, so his net worth is up to 8k after those stacks. You could say that he has a bit of an advantage. He's got two... He is almost halfway to... Maybe three-fifths of the way to his Radiance right now. No, two-fifths of the way to his Radiance, not three-fifths. And he's got a Midas as well. I don't even know if the Midas is necessary. I feel like maybe the Midas is even counterproductive. Just because he farms so much faster. Let's hide this as well. Look at that. Knew that the, the camp was going to respawn. Takes it again. Um, let's see what's happening at the rest of the map real quick. I have a hair in my mouth. Sorry about that. We're going to go take a look and see our Pudge. Pudge has got his six. He's doing fine. The Silly Bear is building a Vlad's, it looks like. Probably. Kunkka is trying to... They're trying to gank mid here. Oh, here's Pugna. What's Pugna going to do? Oh, Bear is gone. Pugna doing things. Keeping people alive. 
And Alchemist is actually transitioning, Merlini is transitioning into their jungle. Um, a weird move. It's strange that he's going into their jungle considering that he has a whole lane up top free that he could continue farming. So it's a decision I wouldn't have made, but that's why I'm not Merlini. <laughs> and this is actually something I wish I could ask him. I wish I could just be like, why did you come into the enemy jungle instead of going back to your jungle right now? Like, you know that your jungle is safe. Well, I guess this guy's stacking it. But you know, he knows that his jungle is safe. He doesn't know that this one is necessarily as safe. He knows that the Slark is here. But with his uh, ultimate, Slark can't really kill him. He's going to get a bounty ruin here. Oh, he's going to fill it up in the bottle and everything. Oh, he wanted him to bottle it, but he didn't see it. <laughs> oh, come on, Merlini, you noob. All right. He is. He has enough for his Sega Relic, and it's at 10 minutes, 25 seconds. Uh-oh, he got disrupt disrupted by Shadow Demon. Anything going to happen? now? let's go back into player perspective, and we'll just watch Merlini take back over. So, yeah, just going back to can uh He's going to pick up his Sega Relic. Hey, how did he sell that so quickly? Does he have a hotkey to sell like that, maybe? Alright, run in, run in, and run in, run in. He's just going to see how quickly he can get this Radiance up. He's going to have it by 12 minutes. How does he get so fat? Look at this. So this is when this is what happens when your teammates stack for you. Everybody who's in 3k, if you if you have an alchemist on your team, please don't pick a jungler. Pick somebody who can stack for him and help him. Just so you guys know. Let's push him down. So this is looking good. Um I want to take a look at the other lanes again real quick. Just to see how the state of the rest of the game is. Pudge is still looking fine. Keeper going to ward up a bit. Slark is... He's okay. Nothing great, nothing too bad about this Slark. He's going to have his Shadow Blade pretty soon, so he's got a pretty good timing going there. I think a decent timing, at least. Lone Druid is doing his thing. Lone Druid with his Silly Bear. He's going to be building that Vlad's eventually. And Marana. Marana is working on her eggs. Uh, not, not too bad. Not too bad. Um, but this Alchemist just exploding in net worth. Let's go back to him. <clears throat> so we check out the Alchemist net worth. He is at almost 12k. He's got his Radiance at the 12 minute mark. Like it was brought to him. He has it. It's he, his farm rate is just about to. He's gonna he's gonna improve his farm rate as exponentially at the moment. So we'll watch him push down into bottom tower. I don't know if he's gonna try to take it or not. Let's try to predict. I would say no because. He doesn't have, oh, he has enough vision to see where everyone else is. He might be able to push that tower, but he probably shouldn't. Going back to the jungle is probably a more efficient way of farming, letting that push out back into him, then taking the wave again, and then taking the creeps. We'll see what he does. So he just takes the one camp. Now he's going to go for the tower because there's going to be that creep wave there. He's got his ultimate. Uh, he can do a lot of damage to the tower. All right, he doesn't feel very safe. He doesn't know if there's a gank coming up, coming up or not. I think that he's scared of a gank. I would be. I would be right now because I think that the other team should be concerned that the Alchemist is getting fat. So they should be trying to do something about him soon. Especially considering that he got both bounty ruins and he, they know he already has a Radiance. They might want to try to kill him. It'd probably be a good idea. Now he just heads back into the jungle with his Radiance. Taking out these creep camps with his ultimate. Pushing down lanes. Uh, he doesn't even have his armlet on. He's just pushing. Uh, Radiance helping him quite a bit with his Great Evil's Gold. Such a beautiful sight. And all of these little camps are so good to get him so much XP or so much gold. And now he's got his boots of travel. That's 2k gold farmed in one point, a minute and 30 seconds. Not even. It wasn't even a minute and 30 seconds from the time that he got his uh, radiance to the time that he got his, uh, his boots of travel. And he's already got 750 gold. So we'll see where he goes next. He's probably going to, yeah, he's going to go push out mid. Uh, is he worried about that lone druid at all? Maybe. No, I don't think so. Not worried. Getting all the last hits, boys. Getting all the last hits. Uh, and you can see that Pudge and Keeper of the Light are currently stacking the jungle for him. So he's going to go pick up the bounty. He's going to go take the, the stacked camps. Oh, man. And he's also got his Midas off cooldown. So he's going to have a Yasha in a couple seconds. He's just about to have a Yasha. Watch, he's going to drop his Midas. There he goes. Takes this whole camp here. He doesn't even have to finish... Doesn't even have to finish attacking it because his Radiance does it for him. And he's got the Golems. He's got the Golems. He's going to drop his Acid Spray here. Wow. Camp stacking is so beautiful. Look at all of this gold. He's so rich. 
So I think his Yasha is done. <laughs> he has just farmed so much gold. It's unbelievable. Guys, this is an alchemist clinic right now. If you haven't seen a guy play an alchemist really well before, this is this is an alchemist game. Um, he does have he does have fantastic supports helping him out. <laughs> I'm guessing you probably won't have these in your pub games, but still, this is sweet. This is nice to watch. So uh, the rest of his team is basically kind of getting messed up a little bit, actually. It's good to know that this game wasn't completely over. Like, when I started watching it, it felt like they... Oh, oh is he going to die? Let's see if he armlet toggles his way out of this one. Yes, he does. Armlet toggle. He's got an x Uh-oh. Now this guy is in trouble. Yes, he's going to get a double kill. <laughs> he turns it for the double kill, gets the gold, has his, uh, he basically has his Manta now at 15 minutes. 15 minutes he's about to have a Manta up. Uh-oh, there's a courier. Let's see if he's, he, can he escape? Can he escape? He's making his way out. No, he's going to turn it. He's going to try to turn it on him. He's going to kill this silly bear. Kills the bear. He's taking the farm from the creeps on accident. He's not even trying. He's still getting the jungle stack. Now he's going to go bottom. No, he's going to go mid. And then walk bottom. He's probably going to take that creep camp there. Wait for his... Uh... Yeah, he's going to wait for his chemical rage to be up. Now he's going to rage himself. And I thought he would go take that farm bottom, but he's not going to. He's definitely going to get that bounty ruin at some point. No, he's not. Because Slark took it. So he's just taking this ancient stack. I didn't even know he was strong enough to take this ancient stack like this. Um... Uh... Thought he needed a little bit more health. Armlet toggles. Pudge tanking a little bit of the damage as he continues taking these ancients. Fantastic push. So we're at 16 minutes and 30 seconds right now. And he has... This is 16 minutes, 30 seconds, guys. He has Midas, Bots, Radiance, Manta. What's going to happen by 19 minutes? I, he's going to have this Octarine core. I know it. By 19 minutes, he's going to have this goddamn core. This amount of farm is more than gross, Bluejack. My, my boy Bluejack just said that this farm was gross. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautifully gross. Look at this. And more golems. More golems. Now he can just send his Manta Illusions out to do his thing. And he even stacked that. He stacked that. I don't know if, if he meant to stack that. I think he did because, I mean, doesn't seem like he does, does things on accident. Look, there's, there's 3k gold up. He, that's enough for a soul booster. He's going to buy it. He's like, all right, where's soul booster? Thank you. Yep, he's taking it. Now he's taking top. Wow, you need to pressure Alchemist, boys. This is why you need to pressure Alchemist. If he gets off, he gets off. And he's already got the three solo kills. Boy, oh boy. So his net worth is now more than double. He has more net worth than the next three heroes combined. That's got to be a good feeling. Wait, does he have more than the next three heroes combined? Nearly. Um, he is the only hero on his team that's farmed, though, so like, his team is depending on him here. This is an alchemist dependent game. Oh, his radiance. I think his radiance just got the kill. Yeah, it's, yes, it did. His radiance got the kill on that shadow demon. And it's 18 minutes. He's about to go pick up his mystic staff and have his fucking octarine core completed. This is ridiculous. Oh, Octarine Core on its way. What did he sell? He sold Soul Ring. Soul Ring is out of his, uh, out of his uh, item list, and now he's got his Octarine, and he's still pushing. Look at this. Now, so before 19 minutes, he has Bots. He has Midas. He has Armlet. He has Radiance. He has Manta, and he has Octarine Core. He is basically like he's the weak version of a six-slotted alchemist. This is a like, this is a tanky alchemist. This is the kind of alchemist you're worried about at 30 minutes, at 18. All right, let's see what he does with the rest of his gold. So I think right now he's going to start, I don't know, he's gonna, it looks like he's starting to buy eggs. So this is about approximately the point of the game that I started tuning in at. Uh, maybe a tiny bit later when I watched it live, I didn't get to see the buildup. The buildup was beautiful, and now the rest of this is pretty good as well. I kind of fell asleep during it, I'm not going to lie, so this is going to be nice for me to watch. Let's see how he does. Uh, look, he's not even going to stay in fight. He's like, I don't need to stay in fight. I'm already farming. I'll just go top farm some more. Gets out of there. Uh, our, who, how did that Pudge die? I wasn't watching. I didn't see if that Pudge got caught bottom. Maybe he did. 
Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Nobody really knows, but it doesn't matter because Alchemist is so fat and you can't stop him. So you can just push with these illusions. He's looking to, he's looking to Midas something right now. Oh, another bounty ruin. Bounties are worth so much. So much with Grid Evil's gold. Oh my god. There he goes. Pops the Midas. He's gonna kill these creeps just for fun. Stacks that camp. Or that camp was stacked. And now he's still pushing. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's about to have that out. He's about to have his first eggs. At 20, 20 minutes, he's about to deliver his first eggs. Yeah, he, he's got all the components except for the point booster. Just gonna buy the point booster. He's got he's got the ogre club. He's got the alacrity, and he's got uh, whatever the other one is. <laughs> he's about to go ham. He's going in. All right. So let's switch up our perspective for a second. Check out the rest of the game. See how everyone else is doing. So Morphling has perseverance at home and a ring of health on him. Why? Maybe he forgot he had the ring of health. I'm not sure about that. Uh, looks like he was going for the Lincolns and forgot he had the ring of health already. Uh, Slark, ooh, Slark has the Silver's Edge. Don't go in for this, Slark. Ooh, you, you made a bad decision. I think he's dead. I think that's gonna cost him his life. Uh oh. Here comes the boat. Kunkabo, boat. Kunka boat. Almost everybody escapes. Everybody does escape. This guy, this disruptor, just saved that Pudge from getting hit by the Coke and the rum. By the Coke, by the boat and the rum. He disrupted him, saved his butt. All right, he'll get out of there. His net worth at 2100 right now and it's not like this slark's having a terrible game though like he's having a uh, he's having a decent time i mean it's 21 minutes he's got uh silver's eight silver's edge aquila and echo saber it's a pretty good game for him what is he six and one so it's by no means a, a terribly easy game especially considering slark is uh it's gonna mess people up slark is a dangerous carry oh nice play blinding light don't do it. Don't you do it. Is he going to go for this kill? He's going to go for it. Is he going to get it? Yes. All right. So that's the that's a Slark that even Alchemist isn't fighting right now. I mean, he's got a lot of escapability. He's still got his Shadow Dance ultimate and everything. Alchemist is just pushing lanes, man. He switched over to bottom. He's down here. He's chasing down this Silly Bear. Uh, Spirit Bear actually has Savage Roar still, so he can't really go at him. He will, he will turn that around. But Alchemist has has he given out an agnums yet let's find out i think he has who do you have given it to first keeper so keeper already has his agnums from alchemist so he's already given out one uh one agnums and i think he's almost ready to give out his second are the components to it no so he's he's building his second agnums for his team has his manta he's pushing towers he's doing all the work that his team needs him to do Let's put the player perspective back on and we'll see him play out the rest of this game. So now he's just going to keep split pushing lanes. Uh, every time he pushes one in, the team, uh, the enemy team is going to have to react, stop the push. He's just going to go back to a lane that's pushed out, push it in, uh, and then head to his jungle and take the stacks that his keeper and his other supports are making for him. Uh, he is using his ultimate right now, taking these camps. No big problem. I, the only thing that I'm worried about is that Slark... I'm almost positive they win this game because I think I saw them win it. Is he going to get that off? Try to Manta out? Ooh, not in time. You can actually Manta out of that stun if you hit it at the very last second. Uh, but it's pretty tough to do, so I thought he was going to try to Manta out of that stun. Anyways, he's got himself another Agnums up. He's going to give it to Morphling. So Morphling is about to get Agnums. Yes, he has it. And now he's going to make a replicate of Alchemist probably and send that replicate to push other lanes. Like... Ooh, uh, an Agnum, or sorry, an Agnums on Morphling where you can just replicate Alchemist, a farmed Alchemist. That's beautiful. That is a beautiful thing. Ah, more hair on my tongue. I don't know where that's coming from. So Alchemist is just pushing. Is pushing. Uh, nothing to worry about here. It looks like this game is pretty much under control unless this Slark finds a way to take him down. And I don't know if they have enough burst damage to do that. Oh, there we go. I got it. It looks like it was like a little eyelash or an eyebrow hair or something. I gotta be better with my uh, my hair follicles, people. Now they're pushing top. I guess it's just a trade. If I was if I was the alchemist, I would just continue. If I was Merlini here, I would just continue pushing in. But I don't know if they can. Is he gonna, he can't save top tower. That's for sure. I don't know if they can even win a direct fight at this point. I think that they can. 
Um, but it would be close. There's almost no reason for them to fight when they can continue taking objectives. So that's all that Alchemist is going to do. He's just going to push these lanes out, take objectives, make sure that uh, the creep waves are on their side of the map, and get his teammates Agnums. So it's 24 minutes. He's given out two Agnums to his team. Currently, his Morphling has an Ag... Oh, he just got uh, recalled into the fight. Here he goes. Ooh, drop it, drop it, Acid Spray. All right, he decided to turn for Marana. They got one of the kills, nobody else. Oh, sorry, Frosh, not right now. And Alchemist is just doing work, guys, and he goes just right back to farming. The second he can't, the second he can't fight anymore, he's gone to farming. And now he's probably gonna TP back top, yep. Just TPing top, gonna make sure to get that top tower taken down. Once he gets that top tower taken down, uh, the only thing left to worry about is pushing high ground into the base, and he's just gonna get fat to do that. All he's gonna do is get as fat as he can. He's gonna. He's going to eat lard and probably pretzels and maybe some Doritos. And the fatter he gets, the more the Slark will hate himself. The Slark will just be like a, a loathing basket of, of sadness. Now, uh, I want to see exactly what items this Slark has at this point. Because we haven't checked on him in a bit. And he's going for the MKB. So he the Radiance Burn is an issue for him. And he has decided to go for the MKB. But he has not had any item progression. He, well, I mean, he's got the two Javelins. But he has not gotten a new item uh, since the 21 minute mark. So he's not any stronger. Alchemist is also just giving out eggs right now. I don't know if it's a good time for them to fight. But they're pushing high ground. And there's nothing else that they can do. They're going to be forced to fight. Ooh, this is so much damage, like how are you going to stop this? Alchemist, Alchemist is too farmed at 26 minutes, he was this farmed at, he was this farmed at 19. He had these items at 19, imagine if he would have went with like a, an Assault Curry Ass and a Moon Shard or something instead of those Agnums. But here we are, his teammates are now stronger, it's making your teammates strong that makes you win guys. Never forget, it's all about your team. Don't be one of those guys who isn't a team player. Or one of those feeders. If you're a feeder and you're watching this game, I hate you. I hate you. Well, I want to feed mid because of something. I, I've had a lot of feeders lately, so you can tell that I'm a little bit salty about it. And when I say a little bit, I mean a lot of salty. He's just going in. He's got another Agnum. So who's he going to give it to? Oh, blow him up. Blow him up. Uh, that bear, that savage roar. Okay, seven second cooldown. Seven second cooldown between before Alchemist can use his spells again. Is he going to die? Nope. Nope, he's alive. Go, 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 go. Somebody's got to save him. Oh, Keeper. Keeper's going to save him. It's daytime. It's daytime. Keeper's got an eggs. Yes. That bla that uh, that blast heals during the daytime if you have an Agnos as a Keeper, in case you guys didn't know that. That's why he got so much health regen there. Stand in front of it. Go stand in front of it. That doesn't matter. He's an Alchemist. He gets infinite health regen when he's fucking, when he's got his chemical rage on. So it looks like this is just game, guys. He has gone and gone ahead and given out. No, 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 no. Slark, why are you killing people? What are you doing, Slark? Jeez. Slark, you can't be like that. That was disrespectful. I want to see. Okay, this guy. Pugna doesn't have an eggs yet. He has an eggs. Pudge doesn't have an eggs yet. Is Pudge going to get an eggs? I think, I think Alchemist is going to give Pudge an eggs. <laughs> Once he finds him. Who's building an eggs on their team? Oh, I think Kunkka is actually going for an eggs. Maybe. Or maybe that's something else. Uh, Marana has an axe. He's he's doing his shit. So let's go back to watch him, and we'll watch Merlini push out the rest of this game. So you guys have seen a fantastic team play so far. You have seen a whole team rally around an alchemist to win themselves a pretty easy game, I would say. I, this game could have been very hard if they had it, uh, if they didn't have Merlini. Oh, and he, his net worth is like it's ridiculous, but Slark is doing really well at the same time. Like they're. The, these other carries, the, the enemy's team's carries, they're not playing poor by any means. It's just, you're dealing with an alchemist. That's all I got to say about that. I don't I don't know what they could have done. I don't know what they could have done here. They could have put more pressure on the alchemist, not giving up the double bounty and not let him get an early Midas. But he got it. Oh, he doesn't even have the Midas anymore. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't even see when he sold it. So he's going to get another Agnum soon. I think the Midas might have not even been worth it. Maybe just going, instead of going the Midas, just going straight Armlet by the four minute mark. And then from Armlet going straight to Radiance. Or not Radiance, going Soul, soul Ring. I don't know if, if, if Midas is really worth it on Alchemist. But I mean, it worked out. This Slark is doing work though. Look at him. Here, here they come. They're trying to kill him. 
I wonder if they can take him down. I think they should be able to. Does he have Shadow Dance? No, he used it already, and he's dead. He was worth 600, no, 968 gold. My dys dyslexia is kicking in there. Don't worry, I don't actually have dyslexia. Um, but as my friend um, Bubbles would, would say, I have the reading comprehension of a wet towel. So there's that. I think this game might be in the bag for them. They've killed the Slark, they've got all the bo- Oh my god, another bounty ruin. Yeah, he's gonna give out another Agnums in a second. What's he gonna build after he gives out another Agnums? Who's he gonna give this Agnums to? I want I can't wait to see his farm rate. Let's, let's take a look and see current gold. XP per minute. Where's gold per minute? Oh, he's farming at 1372 gold per minute. Look at this gold per minute, guys. This is nuts. This is nuts. This is a very high-skilled game. I can't believe how well he's doing. Fantastic. All right, let's see him. Let's see him finish this game off. Um, because this is actually this is the point where Alchemist is sort of. Uh, he, he's starting he's starting to hit his peak. I mean, he started to hit his peak a while ago. You can start transitioning out into a stronger build, but this is like this is the alchemist build that you go with. Like you get you get yourself your Octarine, your Manta, your Radiance, your Armlet and your Bots. And then you're like you you've got to be pushing, you've got to be taking towers, you got to be doing big things for a little while. Oh, and he's got a DD now. They're going to take Roshan. You got to be doing big things for a little while. And then eventually you start selling your like you can even uh, late game you probably sell your armlet first. I don't know what you buy for it instead. Um, maybe a Scotty actually. Like if you want to get him real tanky, get him like a Scotty. Get rid of your Radiance and buy an MK MKB. Maybe even a Daedalus. I don't know. Make him just like a, a crazy fighter. Consume a Moon Shard, obviously. So now this uh, he's pushing out top one more time. I think they've only got maybe one or two more pushes to go before this game's over. He's got the Radiant or he's got the the Aegis and that's that's a nice play. He TP's top, creates a set of illusions to push out the lane. Oh, that bear is gonna scare the crap out of everyone. Creates a set of illusions to push out the lane and then he safely goes back mid because the Keeper of the Light recalls him into mid. Uh, beautiful play. Now he's just ready to push into mid tower and I think this is gonna be it. This is probably gonna be the final blow. Turn on your armlet, please. Once he turns on his armlet, he'll probably create a set of illusions. Oh, he's taking out the range racks. A little bit faster. Nope. Alright, armlet's on. He's not even he's not even using his manta yet. He doesn't need to. He's waiting for uh, an opportunity that he needs to escape out of. Oh, and he's got the fuck. Look at this. Four wards mid, so these wards are coming from Pugna, who's got Nagnums, and from Morphling, who probably has a, a replicate of the Pugna creating these nether wards oh my god it's so strong incoming call from 999 that's not a number i understand i've never seen a 999 number oh is he gonna live with this ghost scepter slark come on slark come on oh you're you messed up shadow blade shadow blade shadow blade shadow blade oh he picked up the gem is he dead he's stunned for so long support morphling yes Gem is dropped, and I think that's game. He's just going to push in and end it. There's no way. Oh, he's got buyback. Okay, so they still have to wait for one more. No, he's got Aegis. Where's he going to go? He's going to go top? He's still got the Aegis, though. I guess he just wants to farm up a little bit more. His net worth or his gold per minute is still ridiculous. Let's see. Current gold. No, no, I don't care about current gold. I want to see. Yeah, net worth. All right. He's got 10K net worth over the Slark. Yikes. Yikes. What was this? Slark has... Oh, he went with a Diffusal afterwards. MKB then Diffusal. Hmm. Interesting. So he's got his Diffusal. He's still got the Aegis. He needs to push with it. I don't know how much longer the timer is on the Aegis. I wasn't looking at, uh, at it, but... Merlini has given everyone an Ags now, I believe. Let's, let's check everybody on his team. Pudge has an Ags. Keeper has an eggs. Morphling has an eggs. And Pugna has an eggs. <laughs> okay, so his whole team has Agnums. Uh, his Morphling has gone support Morphling mode, so he can just stun the heck out of anybody he wants to. He's got a 4.5 second stun with his adaptive strike, or 
We got. I don't know what this 999 num number is calling me. I'm gonna have to answer that later. Uh, we are watching Alchemist go in right now. I think he's gonna die. Is he, is he gonna finally die? Is this gonna be it? Is this it for our mighty Alchemist? No, he's not. Because Lone Druid's gonna. Lone Druid's gonna run away. He's gonna keep him there. He's gonna disrupt him. Come on, Kunkka. Do something. Drop a boat. Try to kill him. Find a way to kill this Alchemist. You can't. You can't. You can't. I forgot that you can't, Manta. Oh, is he dead? Right. He has an Aegis. He has an Aegis. And by the time he's back alive, his ultimate is going to be on cooldown. Perfect. Cooldown ultimate. Nice. Blow up all of these creeps. Take a little bit more experience. I think all they have to do is take this final lane of Rex right here. They could just, they could probably push it right now if the, uh, when everyone's up. Uh, but they're being methodical. Taking everyone one at a time. What is going on with my boy Slark? The other hard carry, the other team's hard carry. Like he is no joke, man. This Slark is going off. He's 17 and three. If you think that this, this Alchemist game was easy, you try playing against a 17 and three Slark. Like, Slark is the late game carry, man. This is the guy that you should be worried about. He doesn't have a BKB, though. Which is pretty scary when you consider the amount of stuns that the that the opposing team has. Like, you've got Dismember. You've got Adaptive Strike. You've got Alchemist. You've got um, Pugna's Ward. It's not a stun. <laughs> you got a lot of stuns to deal with. And you got Mana Leak to worry about. So I don't know. I think he should have prioritized the BKB probably bef uh, after this MKB. But that's just what I'm saying. I'm not sure. We'll see how he does as he pushes through. All right. I think this is the final push. Let's go, Alchemist. This is it. This is your time. Don't let anybody slow you down or say otherwise. Uh, the Aegis is down. This is the fun. The final battle. He's not all, oh, and he's already consumed a moon shard. I didn't even realize. I didn't watch. I didn't see the point where he consumed a moon. He's doing so much stuff. I didn't even watch him consume a moon shard. So now they're just dropping all the pugna wards. Any spell that gets casted is going to be incredibly difficult for them to deal with because of the pugna wards. Disabled. Ah, oh, disabled with the pugna debt or the pugna health swap or health steal. I forget what's it called. What is it called? Pugna. What's Pugna, 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 where are you? Life drain. So obvious. And this is it, boys. This is game. Alchemist is about to end this. And this guy's asking him to remember him. You remember me, Merlini? You remember <laughs> when we drank at a bar? <laughs> oh, and that's it. Good game. Well played. I think they're going to concede or just let it end. Let's watch, let's watch the final few seconds of them taking this team out. You can do it, my alchemist friend. You can do it. Nobody's stopping you. <laughs> M-Dog. M-Dog for the win. Alright, guys. So that was Merlini. That was a summary. Not a summary. That was a, a gameplay video of Merlini dominating with Alchemist. It's actually the first gameplay video I've done that wasn't mine. Uh, they're probably better because uh, <laughs> they're better players than I am. It was kind of fun to do, so I'll probably be doing more videos like this. I I like to watch, or I watch a lot, of, uh, a lot of pros play, especially at night, so I'll probably be taking their games and doing commentary videos on uh, the plays that they make. One, because it'll help me learn, and two, because it'll help you guys learn, and three, because it's fucking entertaining. So that's game, boys. Good luck, have fun with yours when you do play. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video, and I will be back to make more videos at another point in time. Thanks a lot, guys. See you later. Oh, by the way, check me out, twitch.tv slash Navits or Navits anywhere else. See ya.